up everyone, Chris Record here with another episode of the 90 Day Ecom Challenge. We are here inside of the group right now. And today I've got a very interesting topic. I'm gonna to be talking about YouTube and we're gonna be talking about doing review videos. This is something that a lot of sellers do. Uh, pretty exciting, it looks like we are officially live so you guys will just now be able to start jumping on and joining me. But check out this topic, day 25, how to review ecom products on YouTube for free Shopify traffic. I know we're gonna get hundreds of people on us here. It'll start going up uh, a bunch during this presentation as we go. So if you can hear me and see me okay, uh, let me know in the comments and say what's up everybody and I'll keep checking back on here as we go. So, how to review uh, e-com products on Shopify uh, and do them on YouTube, like upload the videos to YouTube, you can even upload the videos to Facebook, and then how to get free traffic from. So first things first, let's go over to AliExpress. And as you know, on AliExpress there's all kinds of products, you know, look at all these categories. Now some products do really well when you review them when you actually make a review of them. So what I want you to do in this is I wanna teach you how to be able to find cool products to sell and then also um, do reviews of them. So I don't know, we'll go over here to wearable devices. I'll just choose a random category. And you got all these wearable devices. Let's go over here to orders, a bunch of wearable devices, some hot selling ones or whatnot. So let's say you're going through here and you see a cool product, you're like, okay, uh, this wrist strap bracelet, wearable devices, here's these ones here you know, really inexpensive, look at this, 89 cents a piece, uh, $2.11 with shipping, so you're like, okay, here's some really cool products. Well, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go over to YouTube and see if people are reviewing them, and you can learn how people are reviewing them. That's what you wanna start by doing, is you wanna start by searching, okay? So, one of the easy ways to start by searching is look for keywords here in the title that you can find. So, wrist strap, bracelet, wrist brand, um, all of these kind of things and you can kind of learn a little bit about them as you go and some products might be easier than others you can keep going through I'll give you an example you know new smartwatch of course you're gonna find smartwatch reviews but can you find this exact one and can you search for this exact one the DZ09 smartwatch might be the one so then you go over here to YouTube and uh, and when you're on YouTube um, you can go and you can obviously type the general one smartwatch review and it'll bring up a bunch of stuff stuff that's not gonna be helpful to you at all but at least you can start to learn what reviews are and how people are reviewing, even if it's not the exact product you want. And then you start to see, like, look, GT08, $35 smartwatch review after thorough usage. So look at that, GT08, and this is the DZ09. So you can start to at least get, like, comparable types of reviews. Um, so let's look at this one as an example. Here's somebody. I have no idea what this is. It's a random search. What's up, ladies? Okay. They want to do a quick... Okay, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume off. So this person here is doing a video, recording their hands, reviewing this smartwatch. So what they're doing is they've, they've ordered a smartwatch to their house. They are, you know, zooming in on it with the camera and they are reviewing it. They're just showing how it works. They're showing all about it. They're showing the different features that it has and whatnot, right? They're showing how it looks on their hand. They're showing, you know, all the different things that it does. So GT08, $35 smartwatch review. Okay, now in some cases, you might be able to go back and actually find that. Let's, let's see um, if we could find like GT08. They might even have it. GT08 smartwatch. There you go, GT08 right here. So you can see like the price right there, whatever. Here's an example of that exact same smartwatch that they're that they're reviewing. I assume it's the same one. I haven't looked into it, so it might be different. But, you know, it's at least close to it. So you can see there's a lot of reviews of products. So what happens is you can go and you can make a review of a product and you can title it here. This is going to be your SEO. And look at this, 63,000 views. So when you when you rank it well, you can get a lot of views. And then underneath you'll see here, get the newer version GT88 on Amazon. They've got a link here. They've got the link here, get GT08 on Amazon, USA Canadian, okay? Now what's happening is they are basically, um, this is like a blog post. They've got a video, they've got a title, they've got a description, they've got a call to action, and then they have an updated call to action right there. So it's just kinda like writing a blog post. They got a bunch of comments, they got a lot of views, this is a great example, right? So this could be you. I want you to put yourself in this position. This could be you. You could make a review video. You could title it well. 
the name of the product and review and then they, they put this like as an example you could get a lot of views and then you could write a description you could have a call to action and then if there's ever like a newer version you could even do the same thing here now what they're doing is they're linking with their affiliate link to Amazon so if somebody were to buy this watch on Amazon right here um, this watch likely would pay probably 5% or less right so they might be able to make whatever it might be 5% so let's let's look at this one here this USA one okay so this watch right here they might be able to make $15 on this watch they were selling for $15 um, you know they might make like I don't know a dollar you know what I'm saying it's not much money so they don't make a lot of money but it's an Amazon affiliate program the, the, the benefit is they don't have to do anything um, they're just able to link here and maybe make a dollar so they're, what they're doing is they're creating free traffic so since they don't have any advertising, they don't care that much about small commissions. Now, a lot of you are smarter. You know that you can source this product, get it a lot cheaper, and mark it up. So you know that you can get the product, get it cheap, and mark it up. And you can basically sell it for whatever price you want in your own Shopify store. So instead of linking to Amazon, you can link for a deal for them to get it off. Or get 10% off, get 10% off here, get 10% off here. Now people are going to watch this, they're going to review it. They're, what's cool is that people usually review before they purchase. So if somebody's reviewing this, they're wondering, should I get this one? Should I get a competitor, competitive one? And if they're reviewing, they come across your video and they might like it, well, they can purchase it right here. So YouTube is a great way to be able to get free traffic, okay, free traffic. And what you can do is you can start to look at all these other uh, reviews they have. You know, they're they're... They're saying which smartwatch to get. This person here is reviewing like five of them. Um, is this is a sixteen dollar watch worth it? Um, you know, here's a twenty dollar Apple Watch clone. Um, here's the GTO H smartwatch. So all these people are doing review videos. This could be you. Now that's just the first random product we found. Going here, this wireless one. Um, let's go back and let's go to maybe like I don't know. Let's go to a fitness tracker. Okay. Same kind of thing with a fitness tracker, wrist straps, home use. Okay, actually, let's go back to the main categories. Okay, let's go to the um, same kind of thing. This time, let's go to microphones. Okay, I'm just choosing random categories. Let's go to microphones. Let's go to search by orders really quick. Okay, so here's a basic microphone, a basic lavalier clip. Let's look for um, something that might be kind of interesting. Here's one, let's say, the original Zeepin VM800 condenser sound recording microphone, da 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 da. So, like, literally, you might be able to do, like, Zeepin uh, review. Let's just try that. So, you go, go here, and let's just do Zeepin VM800 review. Let's see if somebody's done a review of this exact product. Okay. Um, BM800 condenser microphone full review. That's kind of one. BM800. So it looks like the BM800 is the not necessarily Zeepin, but the BM800 is the good, um, the good search for reviews. So you can go and you can look. I, you'd have to go make sure it's the same product, but let's at least look at this BM800 review. Look at all of these reviews: 59,000, 74,000 views, 49,000, 34,000. So you see, there's a huge, um, a huge amount of reviews. What these people do is they'll do reviews and they'll link to Amazon products a lot of the time. Look, Amazon, Amazon. And the link to these. So what you can do is you can actually, whatever niche you're in, you can order products yourself, and you can review them. Okay, like look at this. Is a thirty dollar mic any good? Here's a review of this. Here's a review of that. So you can come on there, and that's just an example. You know, here you can have basically, um, you know, this product is going to cost you roughly fifteen dollars um, and sixteen dollars with shipping. So sixteen, you can mark it up to like whatever it is, 20, uh, 24 dollars something like that, and you have this um, sound recording microphone with a shock mount, okay, and a slingback. So you could have that, or you could do the same thing here, BM800, um, dynamic condenser, you know, that's a lot cheaper. Um, you can go in, I don't know the difference between microphones, I'm just clicking on these, but you can see the process. You can go and you can see that people are reviewing these products. So whatever niche you're in, you know, um, let's say it was pet grooming was your niche, Whatever niche you're in, you can go in here and you could find products. And let's see, like you could do this, like the cleaning brush um, removal grooming thing. Okay, grooming brush, grooming, um, grooming glove, whatever it might be. 
So then you can go over here and do like same kind of thing, you know, like pet grooming glove review. And let's see if somebody's reviewing the big blue glove. Yeah, it's kind of one here. There's one there, true touch. And like see what people are doing. This is my point is that you can have your own Shopify store and you can order the grooming glove yourself. How much is this thing going to cost you, you know, four or five bucks? You can order it yourself and um, and if you don't want to wait, here's a little trick. If you don't want to wait, you know, about a month for it, then you can go over here to Amazon and you could do, you know, pet grooming glove and you can see if they have the same one like this and you can order it prime, okay? So you can literally order this right now. I can go here, pet grooming glove, right here, 10 bucks. I can order it and I can get it in a couple days. So what I would do, is this, this is, this is kind of what I wanna to get to for you. What you could do is you could take an item like this, order it yourself off Amazon Prime knowing it's the same one. You gotta make sure it's the same exact one. So if it's not, you gotta kinda of make sure. But look, this, this is pretty much the same one, right? So knowing, okay, you can get that product there. Knowing you can get it, come here and order it. And then use it on your pet. And then what you do is you can make a video like this, okay? And it's pretty cool. You can use it on your dog. You could use it on your cat. And like you look at this, you know, 5,000 views, 9,000 views, 7,000 views, 3,000 views. And people are basically reviewing these types of pet brushes. You know, people are reviewing all these 2,000 views. And a lot of times they will link to um, their products. You can go look at any one of these, you know, see the different styles that people are doing. This one's an ad. So you have to wait till the ad, um, ad plays first. And skip. Okay. So what these people are doing is just doing a picture. They're probably not even doing a real review. Okay, they're just using pictures. What they've done is they created a picture video. Kind of weak, but it could work. Okay, let's see if this one's the same. And you're, this one's a little bit better. It's kind of showing pet grooming. And it's showing how pet grooming's difficult, and yet this one's easy. Okay, what a, what a great example, right? Pet grooming's difficult, this one's easy. Now they've just uploaded a real basic video. This isn't even a personalized review. I think this would be better if it were your pet. And look at how easy that is. It just shows nice and easy. So you can learn from this. You can basically order this product right here and you can show, you can say, hey, I just ordered this and I'm gonna, see, this is, like a, this is like a commercial. You could do this more like a review. Hey, I just ordered this product. Let's see if it actually works. And then you use it on your cat, use it on your dog and it shows, um, and it shows it and it shows it actually working. And you're like, wow, this is actually great. This is fantastic. And say, I'll put a link in the description for a place for you to be able to buy this. Now what happens is when people are searching to wonder for reviews, they're wondering if people if this is actually working or not. They're wondering if this is a good product or not. That's where you could do that. You know, like let's look at this one. True touch review. So here's a good example. Here's a person who just ordered it. He's talking in the camera. He's ordered this true touch thing, which you can see like the true touch, it's this exact same one. So this person's ordered this true touch uh, thing. And what they're doing is they're unboxing it. They're showing what it looks like. There it is. It comes with these instructions. There's the, there's the glove. So what this person is doing, he's wearing it on his hand. He's explaining it and explaining how it works. And then he's going to go find his dog now outside. And there it is. There's his dog. And he's going to see if it actually works. He's talking about it. Somebody else is holding the camera. And it's, very real, it's a very realistic video. And now you got the camera right there. And he's showing how the, the dog's excited. There it is. And he shows how the dog likes it. So see, the dog likes it. It's a nice product. It shows how easy it is. The dog's excited. And it shows how he's going to be able to uh, groom his dog nice and easy. See, just like he's petting his dog, but he's petting and grooming. So he's de-shedding, if you will. So the dog likes it. See what he's doing? He's showing it. Now, as a, as a consumer, you're thinking, okay, this, is, this looks like a really good product. And then what you can do is you can come in here and you can drop the links. Look, buy, buy True Touch. And this person here is linking to um, a site to be able to buy it, right? So they're linking over here to a site to be able to buy, it to, he does a full review. So look, James White's freaking reviews, right? So he does a full review of this and he shows pictures of it and he's writing this whole entire review. So again, this is free traffic, okay? And what he's doing is he's basically linking in through an affiliate program to this True Touch website, okay? So this is what you could be doing. You could be writing reviews like this and you could see, look at all these reviews this person does. The DAC5 review, Red Copper Pan review, Veggie Bullet review, 
does it does this food shredder and slicer work um, and you know look at it so he's doing all these same reviews and he's selling the the veggie bullet through a um, you know through a through he's doing the here's the television commercial he's embedding the, the commercial he's showing all about it so see he's he's doing reviews or you can go to his YouTube channel once you find somebody you're like oh that's cool go to their YouTube channel click on their name there and go to videos and let's see what what kind of videos they have. So now you've got all their videos that they have on their channel. So I'm at freaking reviews, I clicked videos, and I can see all these different videos they've done. Pretty cool, right? And here's another thing you do. Go to uploads right here, and you can see all their videos. Or go over here to date added, and you can actually click most popular. And it'll show you their most popular views. Look at this one, got 162,000 views just in the last six months. So check this out. This is an example. It looks like it's got an, an advertisement first. But all we're doing is we're just going into YouTube and we're searching and we're finding people that are doing reviews to give yourself ideas. See, all he's got is he got a camera on him. He's got a product that he's purchased. He put a little name of it. He's taking a couple camera angles. Just you could do this with, with your smartphone. Okay, he's opening it up. He speeds it up really quick. You could do this in iMovie or some basic video editing. He's unboxing it. People like to see exactly what they're going to get. He did that fast. So there's the product. He's spinning it around. And now he's showing kind of how it works. He's plugged it in. He's showing how it works. And he's kind of like now going in and, and, uh, and showing he puts it here in his bathroom. And he kind of can change the speed of the timer to like set the heat up. You know, he's, he's just having some fun with this and showing how it all works. So it's pretty real. And then, um, you know, be sure to watch my two month update. So he does another video after two months to do it again. He's got a full written review. And he goes, here is a best-selling competitor in the same price range. So he even links to an Amazon product with his affiliate link. Okay? So you could, could find like Handy Heater. What you could do is you could see if they have something like that here. Handy Heater. I don't know if Handy Heater is a brand or not. But you could actually look at, um, you know, something, something close. Okay, here's one. This is like what it was right here, like the Handy Heater. Um, so something like this as an example, there's a little handy heater. So you can see there's products like this that, that they have, right? So there's products that you can get your hands on, you know, free shipping. They got e-packet. So it's, you know, they got the different colors, the different types. $22.46. You can mark that thing up. You can find other versions of it, okay? Maybe you start looking at these things. Like instead of handy heater, maybe look at portable, electric, Warm air blower, fan, electric heat radiator, warmer for office home. So portable air heater, portable uh, electric heater, something like that. And you can start to find them. But look at how simple this is. Or the veggie bullet review. You can find products like this. So when you really get good, you go on YouTube and you start seeing people that are doing product reviews. And a lot of times you can basically bookmark. You're like, okay, let me model after this person. This person's doing a lot and getting a lot of reviews. Okay, And then you can go to another person here and see how they're doing it go to this guy this this person the guru brew let's look at their page their channel on youtube okay the tech show so let's look at their videos and look at all these things that they're uh reviewing and doing comparisons of and what they're doing is they're just putting some they're just creating thumbnails you know and putting stuff on here the atomic beam flat flashlight fix how to fix a sinking office chair that's another thing you could do. Instead of you could show how your the product you're selling could fix something. Um, that's another great angle. Um, all kinds of stuff here. So you can kind of go through and you can see what kind of channel you want to model after. But all you have to do is type in the word and type in review. So whatever your industry is, find products, find products you sell in your store and type in review. You know that's all you have to do. So you know like you can go here to to. Um, AliExpress, and maybe you type in like earbuds, okay, something like earbuds, and you find some like really cool kind of creative earbuds, you know, so you kind of look and you kind of see if there's something really creative, you kind of go through and look at all these, and then you go and you do a review of it, you know, so you find one that like looks really cool, especially for unique products, and then you do a review, and people will like, usually, you'll be able to learn from other people doing it, and then you just do your own. And I'm just saying earbuds because I was thinking about using a pair of earbuds right now. So you come in any product you want. You find the product here and then you go find a, a, a comparable review on YouTube. But most importantly, make your own review. Once you make your own review on YouTube, you're going to upload it 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to do, so let's go back to this. You're going to upload it, your review to YouTube, and then you're going to make your own video like this. Like, this is a hands-on gloves, hands-on gloves de-shedding a husky dog. So you're going to make a video like this, or should I buy the True Touch Five Finger De-Shedding Glove Pet Hair Removal? You're going to do something like this. You're going to create your own video. You're going to create your own like homemade video like this with the product. You can order the product on Amazon Prime or order it from AliExpress. You're going to put in a title that's got keywords, you know, um, pet hair removal review, um, de-shedding hair removal review, stuff like that. And then you're going to have, um, you know, your description, which is going to have, you know, a link to the product. And you're going to basically, so you got a, the video, the title, the description, and a link to your store to that product. Now, at that point, you can just sit and kick it and wait. But you should also probably take your, um, take your video and write a blog post on your Shopify store with the video as well. So you're going to go here, and you're going to click Share, Embed, and there's your embed code. Just grab, just copy that code, and you can embed the video on, um, on your blog, on your Shopify blog, and it'll look like that. So you can basically record your video, upload it to YouTube, then you can embed your video on your Shopify blog, and um, and you just keep keep rolling with it like that. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty easy strategy. And over time, once you start getting enough reviews out there, next thing you know, you have a review that takes off. I mean, this one did 8,281 views. Um, you'll notice some of these some of these reviews will have hundreds of thousands. Some will just have hundreds of views. It's going to range, and also the types of products um, that you do. It's it's going to range as well. Like, um, let's see. Let me type in. Let me go to something else real quick. One more example. Let's go to like type in the word guitar, and let's look at some top selling guitar products. Okay. So here's a clip on digital tuner. So if you were in like the guitar niche, you would you would buy this clip on digital tuner. It's only going to cost you a dollar eighty seven plus a dollar fifty two shipping, or buy it off Amazon um, and get Prime buy this guitar tuner and then do a video of you tuning your guitar with it. Okay? Chromatic guitar tuner. So let's go there and let's look at that. Chromatic guitar tuner. And let's see if, if anybody's making videos. How to tune a guitar with a chromatic tuner. See this person here, 8,000 views. Or this is a Fender brand. Uh, detailed tutorial. So what this person is doing is giving a tutorial on how to use the product for beginners. Two hundred eighty-seven thousand views. The TU3 Chromatic Tuner Overview that's got two hundred eighty-nine thousand views. So you can start to see these things get over time. They just get hundreds of thousands of views. So it's really important when you're when you're when you're doing these YouTube videos, allow them time to start to rank. But what happens? Is they just show up in search results like this, or they show up as related um, videos. So when you click on one video like this one. You're gonna see all these related videos on the site on the side right here. How to tune your guitar with a digital tuner. So you see like this, and look at how cool this is. Just somebody's how to tune their guitar with a digital tuner, and then they basically shop tuners and more at this shop. So they've got their own shop, just like this. Boom, they've got their own shop that they're selling all kinds of guitar stuff. Okay, pretty cool, right? And this is probably a, a Shopify store. I don't know if it is or not, but it, it's probably a Shopify store, you know. So that's how cool this is. It's it's like, no, it's it's Big Commerce. So Big Commerce is a Shopify competitor. I just looked at the code, but it's basically the same kind of a concept, though. See what they got? They've got a guitar store. They got all these guitar products. Same kind of things. You can do the same thing they're doing. You can make review videos. You know, all this person is doing is showing how to how to tune a guitar with a guitar tuner. So if you knew about guitars, that was just a random search. Look, you could get a guitar tuner, show how to tune a guitar with this one, and then tell everybody, hey, listen, guitar tuners can range from like $50 to $100. Instead of doing that, um, and there's a link in the description, there's a really good tuner for just 10 bucks. Or this is cheap enough to do free plus shipping. You could tell people, show people how to do it, and then say, hey, guys, instead of paying $50 or $100 for a guitar tuner, I've got a link in the description where you can get one free just pay for the shipping and handling. Just trust me, that's way better than spending a lot of money on a guitar tuner. Just get one free and just pay shipping. And then you can charge like nine ninety five shipping and then there you go, okay? So you can do a review of how to tune a guitar. This is, these are examples. So I want you to get creative in your niche. Think about what you can do to be able to create your own review videos 
Um, and it doesn't have to be this fancy. It could literally start with just you showing. You don't even have to show your face. This could just show like put a camera on you just on this part of your guitar and just showing how the guitar tuner works on the top, on the right side here and just kind of showing along. It could be pretty easy. So have some fun with this. This is something that you absolutely should consider doing. Do Find products you want to sell on your site. Do order them off Amazon or off Ollie and do review videos of them when you have them in person. If you don't want to show your face, don't show your face. Do review videos. You get to show a close up of the product and then um, show yourself, um, you know, show how it could be used and then give people a reason to click a link in the description uh, to purchase the product. Okay, that's today's training in the 90 day challenge. I wanted to show you guys a cool strategy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments here the day 25 training. Let me know in the comments and I look forward to seeing you guys on day 26. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, this training. I'll see you guys soon.